join us. Everyone invited, of course. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. We're looking at Asajj Ventress, one of the newest figures from the line, part of New Wave, which features a couple of members of the Bad Batch, uh, Bo-Katan and the Elite Clone Trooper, which I don't think is a clone. Uh, this one's come to me first, and uh, yeah, I've been really, really looking forward to this one. I'm a big fan of Asajj Ventress, so it's a no-brainer. It was absolutely no-brainer. I'm struggling just to hold the package. I just want to rip it open, so we're going to do exactly that. Um, but we'll get a quick look. Clone Wars number seven. Looks awesome. All right, let's open it up and have a look. All right, here she is, Asajj Ventress. Wow, I'm absolutely blown away by this figure. I love it a lot. It is incredible. Um, Asajj, like I said, is one of my favorite characters. Um, this figure is an absolute standout. One thing I'm noticing straight off the gate is she's using the same legs, uh, feet, and forearms as the recently released uh, Dark Side Ray, Dark Side Vision Ray, sorry. Um, but it works. It's you know it's true to the true to the character it looks the part for the costume um and yeah it's just one of those cases where hasbro have been very smart and reused some good parts for some good figures and uh i'm sure it would have brought the cost of production of this one down quite a lot to be able to get both of those figures um using some similar parts but uh yeah i'm just <laughs> this head sculpt is absolutely blowing me away that is just absolutely remarkable. It's just fierce. Love those markings, they're just absolutely fantastic. Dual lightsabers. That's awesome. I love the outfit. You know, the sort of purple that she's got sort of around here at the top. It's almost got like a slightly pearlescent glimmer to it. Like there's a bit of a very slight glittery glow to the paint. Like a pearlescent look. Um, I think that pops really well. A little bit of uh, a little bit of paint missing there on the arm. That's not a big deal. love the sort of wraps that's why it works we've got the sort of wraps around the arms wraps around there the legs as well underneath love the sort of purple fabric they've used here for a skirt um, that looks absolutely amazing I love the sort of molding and the textures and the paint of the uh, I'm not even sure what to call this thing it's almost like a tabard, I suppose. Um, you can see there's a couple of peg holes in the front of the belt there for her lightsabers, which we'll take a look at in a moment. I'm just uh, absolutely gaga for this figure. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. All right, so we'll get a look at her lightsabers. Pop them out of her hands. We'll just pop her to the side. So, uh, yeah, pretty simple. They are... Unpeggable. So that look too bad. Um, yeah, they've sort of just gone with a darker plastic, a little bit of extra plastic there, which I'll need to uh, just sort of shave off careful, so carefully with my X-Acto knife. Uh, that's just part of the mold. Uh, when they pop out of the mold, probably get just a little bit of excess plastic there. Um, you know, I'd be almost tempted to give these like a bit of a dark spray and then re-highlight the black lines, but oh, I'm probably not going to worry about it. Um, this one has a hole. So again, just because there is a little bit of excess plastic there on that on that hilt, it's struggling to sort of fit in the hole properly. But uh, that is part of the part of the feature there. Is she can have a double bladed, sort of really cool twisted lightsaber. And I do just want to see how they look on her belt if they fit well enough it's a nice tight fit there that looks good 
then the other one. Another nice tight fit there. So that looks cool. I like that a lot. I'm probably not going to use uh, the double bladed version too much, um, so I may end up just slicing that extra peg off um, and filling in the hole just so they're two separate lightsabers. I think they're a lot more effective that way. But man, I can't get over that head sculpt. That is just absolutely stunning. Let me get up another close up. There we go. Check it out. There's almost life in those eyes. Just love the like the purple shading of her under her brow. You know, if Sarge Ventress was in real life, she'd be doing some awesome makeup tutorial videos for YouTube. <laughs> oh, that is so good. I'm blown away by this figure. I love it a lot. This could be my favourite one of the year so far. And I still have bo and the two Bad Batch guys coming as well. So we'll zoom back out and we'll get another look at Asajj Ventress in all of her glory. Just a total badass character. She is absolutely fantastic. Big thanks to the folks at Angel Grove Collectibles for this one. Really appreciate it. Hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And hit that little notification bell so my videos hit your inbox straight away or your device will alert you to them. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Got some more reviews coming within the next week. Um, got some figures rolling in and hopefully some other cool videos. So please stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Till my next video, may the force be with you. Always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.